everybody. It is Saturday. That means it's time to imagine it. I'm having fun with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson. So what are we doing today, Carl? We're going to talk about combustion. Okay. And we're going to talk about surface area. Um, so let's just try it. All right. So All right. Put your safety glasses on. Okay. I've got a really combustible powder inside this container. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of it. Don't need much. It's highly flammable on this little uh, tray here. And then we're going to try to like light it on fire and see what happens. Okay. So it just kind of toasts. Sure, and you can see a little. No, no, it's, no, it's burning a little bit. All right. But I was hoping for something a little bit more dramatic. Of course. Okay. So let's try, instead of just letting it burn as a, a clump on the table, mm -hmm. let's actually, I'm going to sort of spray it into the air okay. and see what happens. Right. So. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay, that's markedly different than sure. what's happening down there, right? Okay. Is this right. what they use when you see things like that at a, I don't know, maybe a parade or a festival and a machine has no, some pyrotechnics going? I don't, I'm not a pyrotechnician mm. per se, so I wouldn't know. I, uh, it Seems could be like a variety of things. a viable option. Okay. So what's happening here though, and the reason there's so much different is, let's do some math really quick. Oh boy, okay? all right. So they're really easy. Imagine this stack of blocks is a tiny granule of that powder. Okay. Let's calculate the surface area. So we got one, so we got two by two by two. Right, so it's, the surface is four, and we have uh -huh. six sides. Six times four is? 24. 24, so that's its surface area. Okay. Now, if I grind up that powder, let's grind it up, okay, make it into a whole bunch of tiny little particles. Mm. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes with a surface area of six. Okay, six so 48. Times eight. We've doubled the surface area yeah. just by breaking it up. That's why the powder is more combustible when it's a fine powder. Okay. The, and where that becomes really dangerous is if you were to do that sort of combustion in a confined space. That's, All right. what, that's what we're going to try to do right now. An example now. of that would be... Grain elevator. Ah, grain okay, elevator. yes. And I know that even with our job, occasionally I've been called out to a grain elevator fire and they can be very dangerous. They, they can yeah. be, literally, they can be explosive. Yes. So I've got a small model of a grain elevator right here. Of course you do. Got okay. a paint can. Okay. Connected to a squeeze bottle. All right. I'm going to give you the squeeze bottle. Okay. Don't squeeze it yet. What do you mean, Carl? No, I'm just kidding. Well, go ahead and squeeze it. No, 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 I no, won't. no, no, no. It's a, that's good. Do it. Yeah. See what happens? We get the powder dispersed. We're going to actually I don't squeeze it now. I'm going to refill and add some more powder there. What we're going to do is we're going to have an ignition source inside our container. I'm going to put this lid on, seal it, and then you're going to give it a squeeze. All right. So we'll have flame inside. You're going to add the powder, and we're going to just see what happens. So. Our ignition source is just going to be a sparkler. So I'm going to add that. Don't squeeze yet. Okay. Got to put the lid on and put my face shield down. Give it a squeeze. Wow. Okay. And this whole thing is fire. I, you can't yeah. see that for too long, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, you know, we still have the sparkler in there. There's some, still some fine powder in there. But you can see what happened, though. Let's, let's just cover that back up. Okay. So the fine powder combusts, yeah. it heats up the air inside. The air, when it heats up, expands, and that's what causes the explosion. So that's why this can be so dangerous when and if that happens. Obviously, there's people that work at grain elevators, and you right. know, the, the power from that. It's not a paint can. It's a huge building. Right? Yeah. And so that it does bring back the idea that even uh, flour mills, grain mills, any place where you have fine powder, you have to be very, very careful not to create a situation like that. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Um, so get your face shield on. Yep, I'm ready. Ignition source. Okay. Okay, pick up your thing. Got it. We're gonna add the sparkler inside. Squeeze now? No. I'm oh. kidding. Oh. <laughs> Don't. So we're gonna seal this up. And give it a squeeze. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the power from that, and this is just, if you look in this container, it's just a little bit of powder. It's just a little bit of powder, exactly. So just a tiny little puff, and tiny that much puff. power? It's because we're heating that air up inside, that's what's causing the actual explosion. You can have a small amount of heat uh, mm -hmm. of powder in there, that expanding air will really dramatically uh, yeah. make it explode. And actually, sort of a high-speed footage we have, you can see on your screen there, of the paint can lid actually moves away quicker than the exploding or the, the combustion of the flames because that hot air has forced it up with so much tremendous pressure. And that video is great because it actually shows what I felt I could see and feel. You feel that heat. You feel right that, away. that ball of flame. It, it happens so quickly, but it, it is, you know, at least two or three feet higher than the actual paint can itself. So Ouch. definitely why you want to be careful of fine powders, um, you know, using a shop vac to pick up. Uh, 
sawdust and things uh -huh. like that, if there was a spark nearby, could cause a similar reaction. Oh, okay. So um, just a, a striking example of how fine powders, greater surface area, can cause some really um, dangerous situations. Whew, okay, well. <laughs> Well, heavy for Saturday morning, but hey, that's cool, Carl. And we just want to talk really briefly about the um, event that's happening today here at the Imagination Station, a party on the patio, if you will. That's right. Uh, check out our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. We got all the information there. Um, it's a really cool event. Check it out. Sounds good. Those boat races happening in downtown Toledo. You can head over to the H2O Cafe. Really cheap admission price. I think it's just $5. That'll get you a front row seat to the show. And that is how you imagine it.